Welcome to this jam on toast recipe. I have the big blue box of happiness with me with these beautiful instruments. Although today it is the big blue box of scariness because I have my song Something Spooky from the album Jam on Toast Slice number three. And I'm going to be showing you some things to play on these instruments to go with my song. Don't be scared. I'll show you exactly what to do. Jam on Toast. The first idea is really simple and you might want to do this with younger children. All you need to do is choose an instrument that you could play. And then in the chorus, I sing a phrase like something spooky is coming. And then all you need to do is echo on your instrument as you say the words as well. Something spooky is coming. And really trying to match up the rhythm of the words that you're saying and play that rhythm on your instrument. Now, if you would like to make this activity a little bit more challenging, what I like to do when playing percussion instruments is to divide the children up into partners. And I have one child playing a shaking instrument and the other child playing a tapping instrument. With my song Something Spooky in the chorus, I've got a phrase A that we can shake on as we say, something spooky is coming. Can you say it? Something spooky is coming. Then for phrase B, we can tap. I can feel it in my bones. Can you tap? I can feel it in my bones. Then it goes back to a phrase A. Something spooky is coming. Something spooky is coming. And then the last phrase is a tapping phrase as well, another B phrase. I can hear the howling moans. I can hear the howling moans. So transferring those patterns then onto instruments, we've got a shaking pattern that we could play on egg shakers or bells. And then the tapping pattern we can transfer onto either a tambourine or it could be claves, or it could be a woodblock. So any tapping instrument. Now, as well as playing along with the chorus, with those shaking and tapping phrases, you might like to also choose different instruments to go with each of the different spooky characters that are mentioned in the song. Now, the first character that's mentioned is the ghost that goes, Ooh. and so I thought the egg shakers might sound really good to go with that. And then we've got the zombies that go, Ugh. and I thought the tambourine nice and loud might be good for the zombie sound going. Ugh. And then later on, after we've sung the chorus again, I thought the bells might be good to match. The cackling witch going, -ah 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 -ah. And then the last character in the song is a dancing skeleton. And I thought, of course, the woodblock would sound great to make it sound like some bones dancing and rattling around. So it goes. <coughs> and that could be for the skeletons. So you choose which instruments you like, or you can follow what I've got here. We're going to play the whole song now, and I'm going to play along with each of these different instruments. As I said, you might like to divide into partners, play along with the chorus with the shaking and tapping instruments. And then when each of those characters come along, choose just one instrument to go with each spooky sound. Let's give it a go with the music. Something spooky is coming. Something spooky is coming. I can feel it in my 
Now my song only has four Halloween creatures, but I wonder if you can come up with your own extra Halloween creatures. And what sounds would they make and how would they move? And then you might like to choose another instrument as well to add into the song. And what instrument would best be suited to the character that you've added into the song? Hmm. Give it a go, see what you can come up with. And you might like to also check out the video for Something Spooky as well, with all of those characters in it. And I hope you enjoy your Halloween celebrations. Don't be too spooked out there. And I will see you all again soon. Bye. Jam on toast.